Hello everyone, welcome to this short little video. I wanted to show you logic gates. Now, I am currently building a lab for school and we have to make a vending machine. And so I am building mine using four states, stable states, not stable states, just regular old current states. I divided them up into fours to represent zero cents, five cents, 10 cents, and 15 cents, respectively. Now, what does this have to do with logic gates? Well, we have to convert those into expressions. And these expressions correspond to these guys. Now, a logic gate is formed is essentially, let's say that we wanted to say x1, well, hello, pin x1 and x2. Now, what does this mean? This is comparing these two values together. So let's say that x1 is 1 and x0 is 0. Well, if we say 1 and 0, then it's 0 because it means that it's false. Essentially, how we think about this is we say true and false equals false, because they have to be both true in order to go through. If they're both false, they're still false. They have to only be true on both sides. That's how an AND gate works. Now, an OR, for the same question, true or false, is true because we can we can if we have one true in there it's fine it makes sense but still false or false is false sorry to complain to you or make you feel sad but that's just how it is and true or true is true obviously now what about some other logic gates now actually before i go there the diagram for a logic for an and logic gate is this Two inputs and one output. And it kind of looks like a... Like this. Like a long toenail or something like that. Or a, or a D. I usually draw mine like a D. And not a big fat toenail. Um, but you can generally have two or three inputs on your AND gates. And an OR looks like a... Looks more like a toenail than anything else. Now you have that imagery in your head. But this has generally two or three inputs. Now what's another uh, expression that we could do? Well, we could learn the not gate. If we said that we wanted an expression and we say that it's A and B, but we also have or not A. This is the symbol for not generally. And a NOT gate looks like this. It's a, tr a sideways triangle with a circle on the end to symbolize the NOT. And we'll say, if we draw the truth table, let's say this is 1 and 0, this is false. Or, since A is 1, this means that this is 0. So false or false is false. See, now those are the three simple logic gates. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's all I wanted to show. And in the next video, I think I'm going to review this Logitech trackball mouse. I want to get the new MX Master one. So be ready for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.